It may be the quietest Bourbon Street has ever been on Mardi Gras. Normally the heart of the city's most iconic celebration, the French Quarter, is virtually empty. Almost a year into the pandemic, New Orleans isn't taking any chances. It limited liquor sales and shut down all bars for the five days leading up to Fat Tuesday. If you're coming here thinking you're going to celebrate like any normal year, don't come. The city, which had already planned on scaled back celebrations, cracked down even further after streets were packed earlier this year. It risks lives and it risks the progress our city has made in stopping the spread of COVID-19. Local leaders are hoping to avoid a repeat of Mardi Gras 2020, when more than a million people descended on New Orleans, fueling an outbreak that stretched hospitals to their limit. It requires all of us to do the right thing. But for shops and bars, these are hard times in the Big Easy. We are hoping next month, next month is going to get better, next month is going to get better, but uh, unfortunately hasn't got better. Tourism is the core of the city's economy and it's been ravaged during the pandemic. By one estimate, New Orleans is losing out on $130 million every week. But in this place that's bounced back before, most notably after Katrina, a town with a rhythm of resilience. The party isn't over just yet. It's not going to be not celebrated. It's just going to be separate, celebrated differently. Local artists are turning Mardi Gras into Yardi Gras, with themed outdoor displays inspired by both tradition and pop culture. Even a global pandemic can't keep these beats away. And we're hoping if we make the house float thing big enough and fantastic enough, it's going to prevent people to be from being tempted to congregate in unsafe ways during the season. Parades can be canceled, but the spirit of Mardi Gras cannot. So guys, it is a bit surreal to see Bourbon Street this empty. You got the barricades behind me. They're going to put them out to keep people away later on in the afternoon. But I got to tell you, it, many of the folks we've spoken with here say that they've been able to find a safe solution to bring people together even virtually. And Hoda, I got to say, I just got here overnight. But as soon as the bakeries open here, I'm going to find a Mardi Gras king cake that <laughs> might just find its way back to you. In New York, it might be a little, be a little frozen. That's all right. I'll see if I can get it to you. By the way, we'll take that. I mean, New Orleans do. They're so creative. They know how to celebrate, and we're doing this kind of virtual thing. It's uh -huh. called Mardi Gras for all y'all. Uh -huh. <laughs> all y'all. It's hosted by Nola.com. Anyway, there you get to see marching bands, drum lines, Emerald Legacy's cooking. Oh, that's anyway, cool. it's pretty cool. So you could kind of you get to see the history of it. A lot of things people didn't even probably didn't know. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty cool. It's on Today.com. You can see. I love the title for all y'all. For all y'all. Yes. Exactly. Okay, we'll find out on today.com. You said? Yeah, okay, cool. cool. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.